Hi there and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to finish up the Yangan Yamaha uh, cylinder head work. Uh, we are going to lap the valves, then we are going to put the head back together. After that we are testing the valves for any leakage. I hope you enjoy. All right guys, it's time to lap some valves. I start with these exhaust ports and uh, I have two different grit of uh, paste here and I start with the grittier one. First I will put some uh, loop here, lubrication that uh, I don't scratch the grid over, over there and it keeps moving smoothly. Maybe. Then I just put, put then I just put this paste over here. And I I kind I I use it quite plenty. And then for this nice tool, let's see if it holds in here. Oh boy, this is going to take a while. Good speed up this. Is. Yeah, so I noticed that <coughs> I took number one exhaust valve and put it in the num number four cylinder, so I have to do it again, but <coughs> just to show the results. This is this is like uh, five minutes of lapping so it's coming together. I also decided that I will clean up the seats before I start the lapping so there is no carbon or as much carbon in, in, in between the wall and seats so let's continue to work. I think it looks way better than uh, before. But as I mentioned before, not sure if it will hold. We will see that later. I wanted to show you one thing I use for shining these up before I put them back to the head. This is how I make these uh, valves shining again. This is 600, 3000 would be better, but I will use this one. I just used VD40, then I just roll with Brill. Just like that, and I don't apply pressure so that it only shines it. And uh, not take and don't take any material off it. Better. Ready for install. Okay, let's start to put this head back together. I have still my high tech tools here, but I changed the ice hockey puck to the wood block. It doesn't wobble so much. So the process is basically the same but backwards. So let's go.
This is going to be interesting. All right, after a few hours of searching, I found a lock that suited up from the number three uh, exhaust valve. I have these uh, small caps in my workbench, and it was between those. Well, I have now cleaned my work workbench, so something good from that too. But yeah, let's let's put this last one on and then uh, we can test if this keep pressure on the right side of the valve. Good job! Yeah. Now to the leak test. Now we test if, it, if they will hold pressure. Just clean these up and uh, you can start putting the head back to back to the bike. Catch you later.